Dewan, Lauren, House Bill 673 is less than a page long. It contains just two sections, and it comes at a time when we are seeing increasing national attention on drag performances. The legislation says performances, including those featuring topless and exotic dancers, strippers, or male or female impersonators who provide entertainment, would be barred from public property or in a private location in which a person younger than 18 is in the audience. An initial violation would be a misdemeanor charge, followed by felony charges. LGBTQ plus activist Candace Cox, who performs in drag shows, says while she's not surprised by the proposal, she's concerned about the message this and other legislation sends including another bill discussed today regarding transgender athletes. Forcing individuals to um, oppress who they are or what they are or how they identify has a detrimental effect on their uh, psychological health and on their self-image and on their ability to be a contributing member of society. Tammy Fitzgerald of the NC Values Coalition supports both bills, believing HB 673 does not infringe on adults' rights to express themselves. Because we're talking about children. And, you know, if adults want to go and see adult performances, drag queen performances, strip clubs, uh, they have that right to do so. And, uh, but we should not be inflicting these types of performances on children. Now, one of the bill's primary sponsors, Representative Jeff Sanger's office, getting back to us in the past few minutes, saying that this bill was filed in response to constituent concerns regarding a recent drag performance at Forsyth Tech Community College. My colleague Josh Chapin going to be breaking down that angle tonight at 11 o'clock. The bill's other three primary sponsors have not responded to requests for an interview at this time. If the bill is passed, it would go into effect on December 1st of this year. I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.